One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. You know, every morning before I go to work, I hop on here and I talk to you guys and I make this video. And then I think to myself, man, my apartment is gross. I really should clean it one day. But then I'm like, nah, YouTube's way more important at the end of the day. That's my daily tea for y'all. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to talk the NFL draft. We're talking about the past, the Jaguars of the past. We ranked every first round pick from worst to best, I believe, two weeks ago now or a week ago. And today we're not going to be ranking all the Jaguars second rounders or any other rounders from worst to best. Because, you know, there's a lot of guys that didn't even end up making the team in those rounds. So, you know, that's a little bit... Pointless, but what I'm going to be doing from here on out is we are going to be ranking the best second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh round draft picks in Jaguar history. We're going to be doing top five best of those, and today we are on the second round, ladies and gentlemen, and we have drafted a lot of studs and a lot of future great players in the second round. Before I get on to this list, I'd like to uh, give a few honorable mentions to Marquise Lee, who is going to be back this season and hopefully can ball out. He's been the Jags' number one wide receiver uh, for quite some time now. I mean, not necessarily statistically, but in 2017, he was the number one guy. You know, he was always Blake's go-to guy. I was actually talking to somebody uh, the other day, and they were talking about how do I honestly think Nick Foles is going to, you know, how Marquise Lee is going to be with Nick Foles, and I think that this is going to be a really, really successful year for Marquise Lee because he's always dangerous uh, coming across the middle, and he could be a really good security blanket for Nick Foles. Another shout-out is Allen Robinson, the man that is no longer with us, but he gave us one of the most memorable dynamic duos in Jacksonville Jaguar history with the Allen Bros, uh, with Allen Hearns, who is an undrafted uh, free agent. Both of those guys balled out. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a spot for Mr. Allen Robinson on the list. Miles Jack, who was not down, also gets a special shout-out. Again, you know, he's he's dominated. He's played really good football from the time that he has been a part of the Jacksonville Jaguars, but hasn't really been able to solid, solidify himself as an all-time uh, status good second-round pick. I'm sure with time uh, permitting, he is going to end up being on this list but as of right now he's just going to be getting an honorable mention same thing with mr cam robinson cam robinson was a steal in the second round when the jaguar selected him he's going to be our franchise left tackle for years to come he just has to stay healthy and i'm praying that he does that this season anyways ladies and gentlemen let's get on to the official list this is the top five best second round picks in jacksonville jaguar history number five greg jones 2004 when I was going over this list, I was shocked to see the Jags uh, took a fullback in the second round. But uh, what else would the Jaguars do? You know, they're drafting fullbacks in the second round and punters in the third round. Uh, I shouldn't have been that surprised that the Jags went out and did that. But unlike the punter that we drafted, this guy definitely was not a bust. Greg Jones was opening up running lanes for Fred Taylor and Maurice Jones drew all day long he is the best fullback in jacksonville jaguar history and i don't think anybody else is going to be able to beat that uh tommy bohannon man like he's a solid fullback but he definitely does not have the intangibles that mr greg jones had you know even like fullback dives on fourth and one or in the red zone greg jones was an exciting exciting player in jaguar history and a player that not a lot of jags fans are gonna forget he was a very solid fullback and was very solid in the community as well. He was doing a lot of things for the Jacksonville area. In fact, I still think he lives in Jacksonville. I could be wrong about that. But Greg Jones is the fifth best second round pick the Jaguars have ever made and is probably the best fullback in Jaguar history. So it was a good selection for the Jacksonville Jaguars to select a fullback in the second round back in 2004 for this all-time great Jacksonville Jaguar. Number four. Brad Meester, 2000. Brad Meester is a proud member of the pride 
of the Jaguars and was a solid center and probably the best offensive lineman we had from the years 2000 up until he retired in 2011, I believe. And I, I'll never forget his retirement game because we were trying so desperately hard to throw him a touchdown pass. I can't 100% remember if he did end up catching a touchdown pass, but I do remember in the last game that is what we were trying our gosh dang hardest to do was to get Meester a touchdown reception. This guy has done a lot for the community and did a lot for a lot of trash Jaguar teams. He only made the playoffs, I believe, once in his career in Jacksonville, which was in 2007. And, you know, he was a guy that just shut up, did his job, and worked really, really hard. He reminds me a lot of Brandon Linder, and, you know, Brandon Linder's our starting center now, and I think that uh, Linder's going to be showing a lot of meester tendencies. He's a guy that just is dirty, he gets down in the trenches, he blocks his guy, he's a terrific pass blocker as well as a run blocker, and I think, like I said, has a lot of Brad Meester in him. Brad Meester laid out that blueprint in Jacksonville before guys like Brandon Linder came along and really set the standard of what a good offensive lineman uh, is and what a good offensive lineman does in the community as well as on the football field. And Brad Meester is one of the greatest Jacksonville Jaguars of all time. Number three, Tony Brackens, defensive end, 1996. And the second ever draft class for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars drafted an all-time Jacksonville legend in the second round in defensive end, Tony Brackens. Tony Brackens was around for all of the elite 90s teams and all of the teams, you know, that beat John Elway or that 1999 squad that ended up losing to the Tennessee Titans in the AFC Championship game. Uh, Brackens racked up 55 sacks and 53 tackles for a loss during his stint with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was He's one of the most dominant pass rushers in Jaguar history. He's laying the blueprint down for guys like Yannick Ngakwe, uh, who's came before him as well. I came after him and as well as, you know, guys like Calais Campbell. Even though Campbell is a vet, you do got to believe that he would take any advice that Tony Brackens were to give him especially being an all-time legend like he is here in Jacksonville. He also racked up an interception, which I thought was pretty cool. Not a lot of defensive ends get interceptions, but Mr. Tony Brackens did. He did it all. He did it all, you know, stopping the run plays and pass rushing as well. You know, he was an all-around really, really solid defensive end for the Jacksonville Jaguars and is one of the all-time greats. You know, you, you hear that a lot with these second-round selections. A lot of second-round picks for the Jaguars have been solidified as all-time greats. And a couple of guys that the Jaguars selected in the second round that are still on their team, like Cam Robinson and Miles Jack, both of those guys have the opportunity to be all-time Jaguar greats as well. The Jags have always been solid in drafting in the later rounds, not necessarily in the first round, but second, third, and beyond. The Jaguars usually do a pretty solid job of finding gems in the rough. And Tony Brackens was one of these guys and was an excellent, excellent selection for the franchise. They drafted an all-time great. Number two, Rasheen Mathis, 2006. My original favorite Jaguars defensive player and my second ever favorite Jaguar of all time. I remember going around school saying that my name's Mathis. You know, it was weird. Like, I was in, like, the fourth grade, and I was like, dude, I'm going to name my first kid Mathis because we have this this guy that covers receivers. Uh, I don't know what the position's called, but uh, his name's Rasheen Mathis, and I just love the name Mathis. Like, I, I was just, I can't even tell you, man. Like, I would be, you know, pretending to be a pro wrestler like all little kids do. Don't act like you've never done it. And my name would be Tree Mathis. Like, that would be my name. Like, I'd be like, Tree Mathis, WWE champion. You know, I was I was in love with Rasheen Mathis' last name. I have no idea why. But anyway, let's talk about Rasheen Mathis, the player, and not Tree's wrestling fantasies. So, Rasheen Mathis, he was selected to be a first-team All-Pro in 2006, and he had 28 total interceptions during his time with the Jacksonville Jaguars and is definitely definitely the best corner in Jaguar history for now obviously you got Jalen Ramsey who's gonna be creeping on him and he's gonna end up surpassing him for the amount of interceptions he has especially if we get off our ass and extend Jalen Ramsey that's probably something we should have done a long time ago guys but, you know, Rasheen Mathis, as of right now, is the best corner in Jaguar history. And he, you know, it was no debate for the longest time until the Jags drafted Jalen Ramsey. No one really even touched Rasheen Mathis. 
He was a guy that performed on the field so, so well. And who can ever forget against Pittsburgh, the pick six in the playoffs. Like, this guy had Big Ben's number. He's just like Jalen Ramsey, dude. This guy had Big Ben's number. Like, I believe he intercepted him, I think, four or five times in his career. And I think Jalen's up there, too. I think Jalen's done it three, four times already. So, I mean, he's about to break that for most Jaguar picks you know by a corner against Big Ben which is a weird stat to think about but it's crazy because that's kind of what Rasheen Mathis was known for uh that pick six in the playoffs which was just whew, unbelievable Rasheen Mathis one of the all-time Jacksonville Jaguar greats and you know he's a guy that's never going to be in the Hall of Fame obviously which kind of sucks but he's definitely going to be remembered in the eyes of Jags fans as one of the best players to ever suit up in black and teal and number one, running back, Maurice Jones-Drew, 2005. Who, is, who else was it going to be? Who, to tell me to my face, who else was the best Jaguar second-round pick of all time? Maurice Jones-Drew, the second-best running back in Jaguar history. And that's saying a lot because he had to, you know, take the reps from a guy that is going to be a Hall of Famer one day. Maurice Jones-Drew also might be a Hall of Famer one day, but that's going to be significantly down the road by the time I'm like 30, 40 years old uh, when Maurice Jones-Drew is going to get in. And that, and that could even be a little bit more far-fetched because that's probably when Fred Taylor will get in because he's never even been nominated to be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which is just a crime that Fred Taylor has never been nominated to be a part of the NFL Hall of Fame. But Maurice Jones-Drew is definitely a guy that deserves it. He was just the bell cow of the offense. You know, from the second that he got drafted, he was returning kicks. He was a great kick returner. And him and Fred Taylor, one of the deadliest duo running backs in NFL history. It just didn't last too long. And, you know, Maurice Jones-Drew took the reins as the running back, and he made it work. Even when he was facing eight-man boxes, this guy's legs would not give out. Maurice Jones-Drew is an all-time legend in Jacksonville Jaguar history and is definitely, without a doubt, the best second-round pick the Jaguars ever made. In fact, he has that jersey, number 32, for all 32 teams that passed him in the first round. This guy played with a chip on his shoulder from the moment he came into the league, and that chip never went away. And he is definitely going to be an all time great Jaguar and a pride of the Jaguar member. And that was the top five best second round picks in Jacksonville Jaguar history. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.